It's said that pilots aren't allowed to use hair gel during missions, because if the helmet's communication system short circuits, the spark could hit the gel and blow their heads clean off. To find out whether that's true, they started with a control test. In a sealed box that mimicked an aircraft cabin, they triggered a short circuit. The hair didn't catch fire, just a little white smoke came out. Then they repeated the test, but this time with hair gel applied. The result? The hair instantly burst into flames. It didn't explode, but the fire was intense enough to take seriously. That suggested the rumor might have some truth to it. Next, they moved on to a full-scale experiment. Tori rebuilt a giant steel pipe to match the dimensions of a real cockpit and installed a pressure gauge to simulate conditions at 20,000 feet. Meanwhile, Carrie collected real hair from a salon and glued it onto a dummy's head. To keep the test authentic, Adam tracked down the same model of communication helmet mentioned in the rumor, and Tori rewired it so they could deliberately trigger a short circuit. Once everything was set up, Jamie started pumping oxygen into the cockpit. When the pressure hit the 20,000-foot mark, Grant flipped the switch. Within seconds, white smoke filled the cabin, followed by visible flames. After the test, they found the dummy's hair and face had melted, but still, no explosion. They reset for a second round, and this time the inside of the helmet caught fire. Again, no boom. So to push it further, they added extra flammable material to the dummy's head. And finally, they got the explosion they'd been looking for. The takeaway, hair gel and other hair products are indeed flammable, which explains why you can't bring them onto planes. But as for the rumor that it would blow your head off, totally busted. 